guys, what's up? Super Sasha 404 here and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on my video. Okay guys, so in today's video we're gonna be talking about a serious subject. We're gonna be talking about how to get over a breakup. How to get over that dude that left you and is gonna regret it because you are bomb. Anyways, but before we get into how to get over a breakup, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Hit the little red button. I'm matching today with my red button. You can click it. It's just it's a, just a subscribe button so that you guys can know when I upload a video, but actually to get notified when I upload a video, you want to hit that bell next to the subscribe button. So go ahead, click subscribe, click the bell so that we can just all be a family and you're all caught up and you're ready to go. And yes. Okay, so I'm super excited. Don't forget to follow me on my social media. They will always be down below. It's Sasha 404 just like the channel. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now. Let's go ahead and get into this serious vid- Whoa, I lost my- Just, okay. Let's go ahead and get into the video. So, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Now, this video is about how to get over a breakup. Uh, let's see, I've had a couple of breakups. <laughs> In my- I'm just kidding. I have not dated like that. Like, I haven't dated a lot of people like that. But, um, I did like the middle school type kind of breakup, like, slash high school breakup. But I also had like a- serious serious brace brace breakup um and the breakup was hard i'm gonna let y'all know it was hard it it hurt it hurt it hurt seriously it hurt right here like it really hurt um i didn't know a breakup could hurt that bad like you feel so alone you feel like you can't go on it sounds very dramatic but you feel like your whole world is coming to an end and you don't know how you're gonna live on the rest of your life especially if you've been with the person for a long time if it's been like a long time it's harder to break up or if you fell pretty fast um, and you've like talked about a future with this person it's very hard there's different scenarios on why it could be really really hard but trust me a breakup sucks a breakup really really sucks so we're gonna go ahead and get into some tips that I have on my phone here for you guys to help you get through if you're going through it or you just wanna be prepared and maybe reference back to this video if you ever do go through it. So first thing you want to do is to cry it out. You do want to let out all the hurt and pain and sadness and shame and everything that comes along with, you know, a breakup. You wanna feel the emotions, you wanna cry. You don't wanna try to suppress them because I feel like in the that's gonna prolong the process of you getting over it so go ahead and feel it cry it out it is okay to cry it out it's okay to be sad it's okay you're human cry it out I uh, I don't know I think I cried out I think I cried out I think I cried it out for about two weeks which it's gonna feel longer it's gonna feel like months <laughs> but um crying it out is definitely tip number one on my watch you need to get it out of your system you need to you know yeah you know yeah okay so okay sorry something kind of just happened to my friend that was kind of dramatic and I just got the text while I was trying to read okay so yes one cry it out cry it out okay tip number two do not text him delete his number or change it to do not text and call whatever and text or vent to like someone you're close to like a best friend your sister um, if you're, your mom if you're close to them your grandma somebody else vent slash text somebody else other than him now initially in the beginning like of the breakup you're probably gonna text him a couple times um, probably to get things off of your chest if you feel like you hadn't um, and then honestly it, it will make you feel a little bit better like once you probably send it sometimes it don't make you feel better it doesn't make you feel better so go ahead and just don't text him period kind of give your give you and him the space yeah text a best friend text talk to a, a sister cousin brother aunt somebody else that knows what you're going through and understands and trust me they will they probably get over it they'll probably kind of get annoyed with it if you kind of overdo it but if they love you they'll you know keep doing it my best friend was really good um 
with letting me vent it out and cry it out and my cousin which is why actually is why we became best friends kinda was through my breakup which is weird but she showed that she was down and she was real shout out to you niche but um yeah just venting about it to a friend will help you not text him and cause more drama that you probably don't need or more heartbreak that you really don't need because sometimes you don't want to know the answer to certain questions or his response to certain things so just don't it's just bad don't text don't text him don't call him at least for like a good couple months don't do it don't do it don't do it okay so next i would say is to is get a makeover girl go ahead and go and get your hair done get your nails did get your makeup done get some new outfits and go out on the town okay oh sorry i'm going into like the next i'm going into the next one okay you need to feel brand new you need to feel like a new person if that's chopping off your hair if that's getting some extensions if that's like beating your face to the fullest you need to glow up glow up to another level it'll make you feel like mm, i'm a boss ass baby. Mm, 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 mm. i'm a boss ass uh, uh. oh i cussed oh i'm a boss oh I cuss. I don't usually cuss, guys. Okay, let me stop because I'm getting too lit. But yeah, make you know, getting a makeover is I feel like a good tip because it just gives you a new look. And also, when you go to post them Instagram pictures, it makes him look. If you know what I mean, <laughs> he's gonna regret that he ever let you go. Okay, so anyways, tip number four is going to go out with your friends and have fun and get out the house. Don't stay inside after you've cried and vented and all that. Don't stay inside because then you'll probably go back into a depression. You know, glow up, go out, have fun, post on Instagram, post on. You have, af like, after the whole moping stage, you have to kind of fake it till you make it type of thing. You have to, you, you have to go out and do these things so that eventually you'll be like, I can't do this without him, girl. And you can. So that's the next tip. Go out, have fun, get your girls, go to a party go to like a like a okay when i say party i don't mean like technically like clubbing i don't really club i'm gonna let, let y'all know be honest sometimes i do go like down to um i haven't done this in forever i've just been too busy like i used to like to go to what's it called like for a lot of you to just walk the strip because they have like bumping music and you know you can have a drink or you know just be responsible and um i used to like to go down there and just listen to music and dance i love dancing so or go do like go to top golf top golf is so much fun and they have bomb food <laughs> top golf is not sponsoring i wish they did but anyways yeah do something bowling skating anything go to a, go to orlando for the weekend miami beach i'm just saying this because i live in south florida i don't know what you want to do like wherever else but do something fun with your girls and have a good time and then my last tip is going to focus on yourself making yourself feel better for you work on hobbies or at a job that you want to get better at focus on accomplishing goals like if you're making youtube ch videos or a channel and you want to do you want to do youtube but he thought youtube was stupid go ahead and do what you want to do girl and do you get better at um i don't know math <laughs> read more get your mental positivity i can't even what am i talking about okay get your positive mind frame up read more um listen to more audios that are like inspiring just do do you if you want to learn how to be flexible be flexible if you want to do yoga do yoga is my thing is just do what you always wanted to do in life focus on that focus on bettering yourself start working out go to the gym you know eat a healthier lifestyle do whatever makes you happy and is bettering you but yeah hopefully i didn't ramble too much and this video made sense i really hope you guys enjoyed this video because it was near and dear to my heart i feel like a heartbreak is so hard and i didn't think it was that hard until or you never think about it too much until you actually have one or go through it so yeah um thank you guys again for watching this video i love you guys so so much don't forget to subscribe to my channel it's the little red button it looks like my shirt and my lips click it so you can subscribe to the family don't forget to hit that notification so that you are notified when i upload a new video and follow me on my social media it's always down below in the comment bar thank you guys i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys on my next video